but it is Melting Explodes Bloodily here, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac. There was a really shitty cane run going, and then my recording crashed, so you know, whatever. <laughs> we'll just abandon that run, we'll leave that shit in the gutter. So, the we have two Polaroid pieces now, because my recording software's been crashing a lot, but... That's neither here nor there, a bunch of techno babble that nobody cares about. Um, we have to get some, we have to get two more, uh, whatever they're called, kills. Two more, um, cathedral, two more Isaac kills. So, we'll get one on characters we've already played. And I know, I don't think I've played Blue Baby on this channel yet, because, uh, that, that's the recording that got fucking devoured by space and time, but, you know, it happens sometimes, what can you do? But we'll, we'll play some Blue Baby soon, just... Not right now. Because we're just trying to get an unlock, and Blue Baby's a challenge character, so I don't really feel like playing him yet. This is the best Envy room. Yeah, I was gonna say, because he can just kill himself. Boom. I hate that troll bombs have random timers now. I say now, like, it hasn't been a thing in this game forever, but, like... Uh, back in base rebirth, troll bombs all went off on the same timer. It's like if multiple troll bombs on a room, like with a tower card, they'd all blow up at around the same time. Or like back to back. Now, they just explode randomly. They can all explode at once. Two of them can explode right when you summon the card, and like two won't explode until you like leave the room and come back. Like, the timers are really weird now. So we're playing Judas, we've already played Judas on this channel, but basic rundown. This man's a bruiser, he's a glass cannon, no health, high damage. Like a Zazel, but fair. First item, please do something good. That's actually good, I like Mom's Wig, because having free spider generation is cool. Also, we get this very stylish hair. Oh yeah, because that cane run I was just playing. This feels so slow. I I've said this before, like, Binding of Isaac runs where you don't have any passes are so boring. Whoa. Yeah, the thing about Judas is early game champions are your biggest enemy. Because you can just get one shot from out of nowhere. We got a pretty easy boss. Not too bad. I'm gonna say this guy's more of a boss than Larry Jr. is, because Larry Jr. is a, a pushover, but. Oh, what? Did his projectile hit me? What? Where did it come from? I thought I killed him already. That's crazy, dude. That's ridiculous. All right, devil duel time. Hopefully. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we got a luck up. I'm gonna say, I wanna use my spiders on the stronger enemies. Yeah, like the mom spiders. There we go. Okay. Whew. Spiders stress me out in this game, dude. The Emperor card. We can hold on to this for uh, boss rush. If we don't die. Oh, you piece of shit, dude! Ah! Oh. <laughs> I'm mad. Fucking one hit away from death, he just kamikaze himself across the room. Go fuck yourself, game. That's bullshit. One hit away from death, and the pussy just jumps across the room, and I instantly get blown up. Like, why? Why did he save that jump for his last life? That's annoying. Whoa! Big boy. I was gonna say, big boy making big moves. Holy shit. 
Oh, this room sucks. Yep, I was gonna say, this room also fucking sucks, because the, the high-jumping spiders are so annoying. Because sometimes they don't jump anywhere, sometimes they go across the room in one stride, and like... This is terrifying. Alright. There we go. That's bad. That's really bad. Yikes. Oh, this is gonna be one of those runs, isn't it? Where we get like nothing, nothing to use at all. Yes. <sighs> well, we've got haunts. At least we three shot the little haunts, because honestly, these are like the worst part of the fight. Oh my god, dude, what? I'm mad. I'm fucking upset. Those projectiles move so fast, dude. God damn it. At least we got a damage up. Yeah, now Book of Belial makes us do po what is it, Polyphemus? Polyphemus? I call him Polyphemus, but I'm pretty sure it's Polyphemus. I don't know, it's probably Polyphemus. That's a Greek thing, I think. Cyclops. It gives you fucking Cyclops damage. I, have we gotten Polyphemus on this channel? I was gonna say, it'd be very funny if the next item was Polyphemus. I think we have, but I can't confirm nor deny that. Ooh, Daddy Longlegs, you just almost fucked me there, bud. Yeah, Daddy Longlegs is sometimes a fucking menace because he, he swings on his own people. Peep. There is a spirit of heart in the corner of this room. Okay, we're saved. Holy shit. I'm gonna say, now watch me not get hit. Thanks, Daddy One Leg. See, sometimes he does do like a big service. The Fool. Um, I actually much rather. Actually, no, I I'd much rather have the Fool card. I think. Was oh, I can carry both of them. I forgot. Dead cat. Sure. We already have one heart anyway. Yeah, we might as well take dead cat. <laughs> well, if we die, we just go back to playing normal Judas. Oh, that was cool. Infested. Infested. Whoa. Whoa. Spirit hearts. Damn. Spirit hearts. Thank you. Two bombs for a spirit heart, I mean, that's what, like, ten cents in value. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a Tinted Rock that we're not going to be able to get because of that, that poor decision we just made. But hey, I need the spirit health, honestly, because... Oh, well, never mind. My prayers have been answered. The game is now being polite and giving us bombs. There we go. Now we can start getting some health. Now I'm starting to feel better because our damage is ridiculous. So that's just inherent with playing Judas. Any damage up automatically makes you a god to your uh, damage character. comes with the character, you know, comes with the territory of playing Judas. Yeah, Please step on him. Kidding me? What? 
I'm so mad. How, how do you switch cards? I was trying to switch cards and I ended up using both my use item and the card. That's annoying. Alright, well. Aw, oh, damn it. We used the good card. I would have preferred to just use the fucking Emperor. Are we on... I was gonna say, we're in Caves 2, right? Nope, that... Yeah, how do you switch cards then? Because if it's not right trigger on a remote, what the fuck is it? Because left bumper places bombs, right or left trigger uses your use item, and then right bumper uses your, your card. So... Ooh, Mom's Pearl, that would have been really good to get, but alas, it is in the middle of nowhere. You know what, we do need a movement speed up, we're so slow. That is some good coffee. Woo, that was a lot of projectiles on the screen. I like how the Binding of Isaac was never really like a bullet hell game, and then like they added Hush and Delirium, and they were like, what if, <laughs> Isaac, but it is a bullet hell. So it's just like, Hush and Delirium are such unfair bosses. Bunker boy unlocked, nice. And meat. Another guppy piece. We'll pick it up, but we're not gonna take it. Actually. Hmm. Nah, we're not gonna take it. One more guppy piece and we unlock guppy, so. Because we already have dead cat and guppy's head. Or we've had guppy's head. Uh, the way the guppy transformation works is you have to have at least touched the item. Uh, during your run. I think even, like, if you had it and then you re-roll the item, like, um... You get, like, a D4 where it re-rolls your entire run, or, like, a D100 where it re-rolls your entire run. I think if you had two guppy items and then you re-roll into another guppy item, that still gives you the transformation, because it's not about having all, uh, all four items at once. It's about having, um... What's it called? It's about having... Like, held the items for at least a bit. I walked right into- I forgot we had milk. And then I realized we haven't been hit in forever. And then I got hit twice in the same room and it made me feel really bad. This room... Sucks. Yeah, I was gonna say, this room fucking blows, dude. Eight fucking bonies. That you just have to sit there and eat, cause there's nowhere to- there's nowhere to hide. There's no, like, walls to sit behind so you don't get fucking banged on your forehead. Okay. I've always liked that part of the soundtrack, where it's like, okay. Oh, my nose. I don't even have a stuff I have a really dry throat right now, though. Like, a really dry throat. And it's not affecting, like, the way I eat, or, like, the way I talk, but it feels dry, and then whenever I swallow, and it's not a large amount of liquid, you know, like, saliva in my mouth, it burns a little bit. It's got that gross, like, ooh, that sounds nasty, I hate that. Oh, what I was saying sounded nasty, but I was talking about when you, when you activate milk, it sounds really gross. Oh, you know, that's what I need this run. I need fucking, uh, tears increase. I think this reaches both of them. It does, in fact. But I think those are the only, yeah, the only ones that are next to each other in this room. And I've learned my lesson about wasting all my bombs in the pursuit of happiness.
That's exactly what I asked for. Also, analog stick. Now I can do this. Ooh, it's really creepy. I hate it. Doing, being able to shoot diagonally in the Binding of Isaac is such a creepy looking thing. Also, yeah, it's not just diagonals. See, like, even if I slightly adjust the stick, it'll slowly arc them in that direction. It's a really sensitive stick, too. Like, if you have drift on your remote, it's a wrap. Thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot about Mama Mega. Two of diamonds. I didn't realize that I already uh, that I had polydactyly, and I tried to like use it so I could get rid of it, but I could have kept it for later. Daddy Longlegs, you're such a good fucking item. He's so broken. I love him. As you can see though, the damage increase you get from Book of Wilds is not constant, it scales with your damage. So as your damage gets higher, the Book of Belial uh, buff gets smaller. But it'll always buff your damage, it'll always give you something. That's pretty much the main reason I play Judas, honestly, because I just like Book of Belial runs in general. Like, usually, unless I have, like, the nail, I'll always take Book of the Wild. The nail is actually broken, though. That's, like, in my opinion, the best use item in the game. Other than, like, you know, the actually broken ones, like Mega and the Clicker and stuff like that. Well, actually, I don't even think the Clicker's that good. I'm pretty sure it's just, like... See, when we have Milk active, look how fast we shoot. Okay, get rid of all these orange fires. Do they turn yellow when you clear the room or no? No, they don't. Gotta get rid of them. Gotta throw the whole damn room away. Oh, those stay. I thought they would have deactivated. Woohoo! Now we have a lot of money and I'm really sad that I didn't keep... You're not even worth touching. Nope, because that does not stack with Book of Belial. Greed! Hello, Greed. Goodbye, Greed. Wow. Uh, not like it matters unless we get like money equals power, but... We could have had so much money right now. As I say, it's crazy, our damage now is what our base game damage was with Book of Belial. Ugh, Retrovision. As I said, I still don't understand why they added that pill to the game. It's, it doesn't even impair gameplay, it's li literally just a visual effect. Cause like, even when everything gets all pixelated, it's not like it makes it harder to see anything, it just makes everything look worse. I say look worse, implying that the game already looks bad. I meant it makes everything look bad. This game is beautiful. In my totally biased opinion. Wow, uh, that's actually really useful. <laughs> like, look at this. It doesn't make the game harder to play, it just makes it look like shit. We're gonna go in the big room, because usually, I was gonna say, usually they like connecting bosses to big rooms. Big room, big boss. The philosophy I live by. Or big room, big bad. If one of those people says big bad. I think this is mom, right? This is. Oh, it's blue mom. This is the one that spawns uh, like really tough enemies. It's hard to damage her ass because of how many enemies she spawns. I think the head of the keeper is like her specialty. Yeah, I was gonna say, every time I kill it. Oh, well, I got hit. You've activated my trap card. Some straight, you know, JoJo's type shit. Actually, I'm pretty sure that was the exact plot of a JoJo's fight. 
Dark bum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then what do we get from Boss Rush? Because we get one free item. These are both garbage. But you actually have like a practical use. Because I believe, yeah, this is the poison item. It's not good, but it's a free item. <laughs> so if we ever, you know, get like a D4 or a reroll room, we have more shit to reroll. Now we have uh, Dead Tooth and Dead Tooth. Or the, the trinket called Black Tooth. I think it's called Dead Tooth. I don't know if the Black Teeth do like tough love damage where they do like extra damage or if they're just for poison. I think they do extra damage. They should do extra damage. Not a bad run though. Ooh, that's really good. Ah, oh, and it was thrown away. Fucking hate when boils don't die, so like you run away and then you realize that they're just regrowing, they're just really small. Whoa! Weird perpendicular shot. That's actually pretty cool. I've never seen the way this item interacts with the uh, analog stick. So if you hold it up and then to like the left, yeah, you can create like semi straight tiers. It's actually pretty good. There we go. Are you a wizard? It always shocks me that those enemies don't die in one hit, like even when you have like seven damage. I think they're also one of the only enemies that scales with health, uh, like past floor one. Their health scales up after the first floor. Mama Gertie. I use it in this boss fight with unfair as shit because of that spike attack, but she only does it like places she thinks you're gonna walk. Hey, we're back to two bar health. Pretty good run so far, beggar. I think this is literally the only use for our money we can get. And I never use these. I was gonna say, we also get to listen to this fucking godly arcade soundtrack. Quite possibly the best soundtrack in The Binding of Isaac. Alright. I was gonna say, it also gave me my, uh, my bomb back. I love that soundtrack. That soundtrack is fucking sick. The little like orchestral choir that plays like the Ooh, that shit's heat. I love that soundtrack. That and the cathedral soundtrack are my favorite soundtrack in the game. Which I don't think I've been to the cathedral on the channel before, which means you guys get to hear my favorite Binding of Isaac soundtrack in a little bit. Hope unless we die. Like knowing me, I talk a lot of shit. Oh, oh, they, they fucking spared me. You saw that? They had me rooted. They they had me. They had me. They knew my root. They knew they <laughs> they fucking let me go. They teleported out of there. They spared my ass. That's crazy. I didn't know robots could show mercy. Speaking of robots showing mercy, I bought Nier Automata the other day. I might make a YouTube series about Nier Automata. Might not though. Uh, I don't really like playing like single player story based games on this channel. 
You, you guys may have, you know, noticed that with my indivisible playthrough. Uh, it takes me fucking forever to beat single player games when I put them on YouTube, because I only play them when I want to record them. And especially with the case with Indivisible, uh, if I don't feel like recording Indivisible, indiv an Indivisible video just isn't coming out for like the next two months. <laughs> I, I am in the mood to play Indivisible though, I may play some Indivisible later today to get a video up. Because we I've gotten to a point in that game where like now every time I go back to an old area we can actually get shit done. That's my biggest issue with the way, uh, I was gonna say Nier Automata, what the fuck, the way Indivisible is going, is that they, they give you the illusion of choice by letting you pick which area you want to go to, it's like, oh yeah, you know, your choice actually matters, and then you realize, no it doesn't, because you still need to go back to all the other areas to get your abilities first, so like, oh, I thought you were gonna spawn on the other side, oh, there wasn't even a second eyeball, she changed up the attack pattern on me. I cannot tell you how many times I have been killed by the fucking mom tear burst. <laughs> oh, that that's bad. Curse of the Lost on the Cathedral fucking sucks. But yeah, now you get to hear this banger ass soundtrack. Oh. Well, we'll let the soundtrack, you know, play for a little bit. I also have to charge my Book of Belial and look for Tinted Rocks. Save the soundtrack. Isn't that just like one of the best things you've ever heard? I love this soundtrack. It's awesome. That's it. That's just now it loops. That was a lot of money. Alright. Hi, Isaac. So yes, if you didn't know, the final boss of the Binding of Isaac, at least um, for now, is Isaac himself. It's either Isaac or Satan. Um, which is symbolic of something. Wow, I got hit twice in a row. I really hope I don't die. Yeah, by the way, strategy, if you didn't know, when uh, Isaac does this crack the sky attack where the room fills with white light, uh, if you, you can go inside the boss door to avoid it like this and just stand here. The light will never hit it unless you get like a weird boss door. Sometimes it does. Well, damn, that was a pretty easy run. Yeah, we did it. Another piece of the Polaroid, and we unlocked the guillotine. I'm not gonna do another actual run. We're just gonna do a, um, a real quick, uh, whatever this shit's called. A real quick, um, oh my god, what's it called? I think it's pitch black. Is this one where it's just Curse of Darkness every floor, but you only go up to mom? Yeah. I would do an actual run, but it would take to- Wow, this floor is really fucking dark, though. Holy shit. I forgot, yeah, once they added the cur- or the- the- I was gonna say the cursed caves. Fucking nuclear throne terminology. <laughs> the cursed caves. Um. When they added the burning basement to this game, I don't think they accounted for how dark it was gonna be with Curse of the- Ooh, I almost just died. Uh, how dark it would be with fucking uh, Curse of Darkness, because it is like pitch black on this floor. Well, sprinkler. 
Oh, I thought it was Monster V2 for a second. I just tried to dodge upwards to avoid the Brimstone Bull has. Wait, yeah, it's only a run up to Mom, so this is like, you know, Isaac before you unlock anything. Woo, woo. Oh, that hit me. I don't remember if that does a full heart or a half heart, so we'll just assume that I'm missing a full heart and I have two hearts left. I'll be pleasantly surprised if that is not the case. Ooh, hey, well. well, now it doesn't matter. Because I was going to say, now at this point we should have full health. Pretty good stat increases, though. Oh, right. That's, I think that's the point of Pitch Black. It's always uh, Curse of Darkness and uh, Curse of the Unknown, I think. I think that's what this one is called. Because Curse of the Blind is item. Curse of the Lost is the map. Curse of Darkness is this. Curse of the Maze is the teleportation. Curse of the Labyrinth is big floors. So yeah, Curse of the Unknown is health. See? Just quick run through of all the curses right there. Speedball. I mean, it's literally a bomb for an item. And like a pretty good item at that. Not the best item, but having high movement speed just makes this game a breeze. I need to keep. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta say you need something and the game gives it to you. Mom's Eye, um... Not, not a great item, but... And half it, it, it exists. It definitely exists. It's got really good synergies. Um, not the best synergies. It's kind of just like objectively, wow, that spider ran really far. What the fuck? I didn't even know they could run for that long. Oh, there are devil deals in this run. Huh. Interesting. Never mind, the synergy's cool. I forgot Sprinkler has like special visual effects when you have uh, certain items. Wow, that landed on me, huh? I, her hitbox is a lot bigger than it looks then, because what the fuck, I was in the corner, she jumped next to me and I got hit. Oh well. Don't really need it, I guess, because we're getting really good boss items. I mean, yeah, we're making incredible pace right now. These, uh, early... Wow, I keep getting hit by, like, fucking nothing. Thankfully, I have a spirit heart, so... Now all we need is, like, a slight tears increase, and this run is actually decent. Because our damage is pretty shit, but, like, it's... It's higher than, like starting damage, so, you know, that's a thing. Oh, so yeah, higher shot speed literally just means land more of your shots, because you get punished more for missing them. But you don't need range. Range is just shot speed, but slower. They both pretty much accomplish the same thing. Because I know with high enough shot speed, your tears go across the room anyway. I'm sorry, would you mind aggroing? Good item. That actually is a pretty good item, but... Oh, it makes my aura of light bigger, which is pretty cool. Yeah, a lot of items that make Isaac glow, like, as a passive effect, uh, actually do have this other passive effect where they make you glow brighter in the dark, which is actually pretty cool. I forget if the sprinkler counts as a real thing or not, like if they can bump into it. Oh, it counts as a wall. No, it doesn't. Why did he slide off of it then? Yeah, so you see that? He like slides off of it when I'm not near it. It's gonna be Krampus. Ooh, Lord of the Pit or Gimpy. 
both. I have like no health, but that's fine. I actually have no idea how much health I have though. I, sh I think I have like a spirit heart and a half. Oh yeah, we are just a fucking divine god of movement. We're so fast. Hey game, how about two keys? Well, I got half the wish correct. Honestly, all we need now is like spectral tears and we'd be like a god at dodging. Cause we already got flight and max movement speed. Now we can fucking, we can do the things. This, the Flooded Cave soundtrack is fucking kicking, dude. I don't know how much health they all have. I was like, to be fair, there is one indicator that we're low health. If we walk into a room and we leave a uh, yellow puddle beneath ourselves, that means we're at half a heart. Uh, half a heart. So unless we get, we, we're, I think we're at one full spirit heart. Ooh, another needle. One more needle and we get um, what's it called? Uh, spun. Bro, Nier Automata, people talk about, you know, like, Binding of Isaac, Dark Souls, you know, like, when they talk about difficult games, there's a few ones that come up a lot. Nobody warned me Nier Automata was gonna be that hard. I went in there blind. I got, like, punished for going in there blind. You gotta, you gotta realize, this is the first time I've even, like, touched Nier Automata. I, I never watched any videos about it. I literally, everything I know about that game is just, like, spoken word. Oh god, that was real uh, HP we just lost. Woohoo! Doesn't matter. We just won the run. That's a wrap. Because I think now we have like 5 point, yeah, 5.6 damage with a good tears rate. That's a wrap. Because I believe this is the last floor. Nope! We have two more floors. Or one more floor. Holy shit, I forgot that the Fallen gives you a Devil Deal item when you kill them. I love challenge runs because you always get really good RNG in these runs. And then when you go to play actual Isaac, it's like the game fucking, they, they flip a switch and it's like no RNG for you. Wow, I can't see the bones. It's too fucking dark. Look at those things. They fucking blended with the color of the floor with this lighting. Curse of Darkness really does make you appreciate how bright the game is though. Well, now we can just... Yeah, 
God damn it. I need a key. I keep thinking I still have D-pad or analog stick. boss. Oh my god. Oh, Gimpy, I forgot about you. Yeah, I, was gonna say, I think that's the first time it's proc'd anyway. Wow. Wow. You're fast. Hold on, yeah, we gotta like... Uh, but I say, we gotta like... But he's, he's got jukes! Oh, there it is, there's spun. Say dummy damage. And Spirit of the Night, because why not? Balls. I mean, we, we're literally unkillable now. I think we have like, we have like eight hearts. And we, we do a bunch of damage now, like this is a wrap. We got like the best fucking needle for, for Spun, we got Synth Oil. I can't believe that though, see this is what I'm talking about. You play normal Isaac runs, you get mediocre RNG. Wow, okay, I just got hit twice in a row because I'm good at this game. You play challenge runs, you get fucking... Okay, I'm playing like a fucking goober right now. Let's, uh, let's calm down there. I don't want to lose this run that I just spent 20 minutes saying was very easy. But yeah, um, when you play like normal Binding of Isaac runs, you always get shafted by RNG. When you play challenge runs, it's like the game blesses you because, you know, the developers love challenges. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was gonna say. Forgot he could jump the full room, honestly. I thought he was gonna... Oh, well, this is the run. Uh, like, in reality, watch me have, like, two hearts, and then I get hit, like, once and die, and then I start crying about it. Alright, well, the best place to put... The sprinkler would be in the middle of the room because it can just attack everything. This is probably like the best boss fight for the sprinkler, honestly. Well, there it is. Oh, runes! That's what you unlock. Well, there we go, guys. Um. Well, if you like or something, remember to like, comment, subscribe, dislike it if you dislike it. Those are some really good runs. I had a good time. Um, and I, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.